cradled among the foothills of the Catskill Mountains, just 25 miles away from Albany, the capital of New York State. A company called Ducom and Aerostructures is working metal in ways few others in the world can duplicate. There's as much science as there is art and craftsmanship in each one of these parts. And you'll see that as you walk through the shop, the pride that the employees have in making something that's unique and that we know that we're the best at in the world. We all knew that it was a next generation technology. We all knew that everything that they did on this aircraft it is absolutely groundbreaking. We think it's gonna change the way everybody looks at helicopters in the future. The Common Aerostructures New York is manufacturing the primary exhaust system as well as the APU exhaust and APU firebox assembly on the S-97 Raider. When an aircraft like this flies into a mission, it's incredibly important to stay concealed. By being able to reduce the radar signature and come in with an element of surprise uh, helps the survivability because they don't know that you're coming. Similar to the primary exhaust system, it's a very high, hot area where the materials are crucial for the support of the aircraft. We have complex forming techniques at Two Common Aerostructures New York. Uh, it includes drop hammer forming, seam welding, fusion welding, brake forming, and a lot of other forming techniques that allow us to manufacture this completely internally at Two Common Aerostructures. One thing that's different about our firebox is that we're able to use a lot of hard metals and what we're able to do with the manufacturing techniques that we have here is to be able to use high hot metals such as inconels and steels and titanium that sustain that type of temperature. What makes Ducommon's primary exhaust system so unique are proprietary high heat processes, enabling them to shape hard metals in ways few others can. The mechanical properties of uh, precious metals like titanium, aluminum, stainless steel are very hard to form and we've mastered that. The hot break forming process is an incredibly difficult process. Uh, the material needs to be heated to temperatures upwards of 14 to 1500 degrees. The parts are taken out of an oven at that temperature and need to be formed within a certain period of time. It's an incredibly difficult process to repeat, however we're able to repeat it with unbelievable accuracy. I've seen just about every shape possible made here and it's made perfect time and time and time again. New techniques like laser QC make it possible to check parts with extreme accuracy. What we're able to do now with the laser QC is be able to come up with a computer generated broadcast of what the part tolerances and part features are to an unbelievable level of accuracy that we've never been able to experience before. When you're in a war zone and you need to make split second decisions, your mind needs to be on on what you're, what you're doing and not the aircraft you're flying. Sikorsky and Ducombe will give them the, uh, the aircraft that they need to have in a war zone without having to worry about it. Our men and women are out there um, supporting our country. To know that I can at least support them by doing a good job at my job is, is, re is rewarding more the ways than I can even describe. Ducombe was very excited to be part of the S-97 program and uh, we wanted to be part of the next generation uh, rotorcraft to come out on the military platform. I'm extremely proud of this team. They take a huge amount of pride in what they're producing. Uh, they know that this is going to go on a, on a war fighting machine. They know that it, it supports a very important project. We have the right people, the right design, the right team here, and everyone in this shop is all on board to make S-97 a complete success. Thank you, Ducommon, for your great work on the S-97 program.